Dream Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to the final episode of season one of Jujutsu Kaisen. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Them wings look so gross, bruh. Right, because you think he would possibly slow down. I'm busy. I'm sorry. Huh? I mean, it looks cool, like some tattoos or some shit, or like, uh, oh my god, what the fuck is her name? Um, Soifan! Yeah, Soifan from Bleach, when she did the thing with, um, with Yoruichi. <laughs> Oh, um, mm. But you know they might find a loophole. There's always a loophole. Oh. 
Ew. Oh, there's that one guy that everybody's freaking out over. Because all over my timeline, I'm seeing nothing but this dude. She doing what she gotta do and I love her for that. Of course. I miss him so much. Why would you show him like that? Oh. No, it, it's something that you get in her just as much as him.
Mappa really said, like, damn, we all go on one of the last episodes. <laughs> it was like, how much budget you want? Yes. She'll be fine. Ma'am? A fucking queen. A queen. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, damn. Y'all playing the game of life? What? Seriously, guys?
Mm -hmm. No, you may take it to heart, but some people may not. Yeah, we have feelings for them. Me too. He's okay. He just sleep. <laughs> no, he's fine. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You might as well. Got cheaper.
Oh my god, shut up. Shopping. We girls, we do that. I swear to god if you drop something. Hmm? Exactly. Don't drop shit. <laughs> like Coco Chanel or Dior fucker <laughs> I mean damn y'all y'all can't have no breaks yeah, I mean always <laughs> I miss these damn characters. Oh my god. Like, who even knows when we're gonna get the second half of this show? Like, it could be... Psh, my thing is fall, but they might also wait until next year. Because as officially of today, they finally confirmed Volume Zero. Even though your girl has not read this manga. Like, I, I really truly love these characters so freaking much. Like, these were some damn well-written amazing ass characters of course like freaking nobara we could we could talk everything about best girl like oh my god like yes even though her va is now officially going to be a pretty care starting tomorrow and i'm super excited about that um i really enjoyed her like she oh my god any episode she was in she was just so fucking hilarious but this episode with Itadori, like damn like i said you know map somebody asked them like how much you want for the budget in the last episode and they were just like yes yes i mean going back and forth between this and attack on titan even though attack on titan also ends this weekend i bet you probably for the final episode that budget is going to be high as well but this was a really good series i mean honestly as someone who has not read the manga and who isn't going to read the manga and such i can't imagine like where the hell this series is now like later on and such um i'm guessing of course some characters are dead because you know <laughs> when <laughs> when someone says your time is up your time is up so i think you know i'm glad that i'm not reading the manga per se because i can't imagine like watching this series 
and looking at certain characters and crying over certain characters and you're like oh hey because this character's dead that character's dead it's kind of like how when i was reading my hero and we got to a certain character and i'm like crying up a storm and people kept asking me why the fuck i was crying and i was like i can't tell you until we get there and then when we finally got there i was like oh so that's why and such and i was like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but um yeah everybody in the show is so fucking good this was a really top-notch show like honestly mm, this was like the, yeah this show was the best show of between this year and last year uh, i mean it, to me it would be my second fave anime of the year because everybody knows what my anime of the year was of last year if you don't know i mean it, it's pretty obvious if you know me and if you follow me on twitter and what the fuck i tweet about a lot um and such but yeah this was a close second this was good i really loved this show like so fucking much and the journey of these characters and everything but like yeah i just i want to know where the fuck they're gonna go for the second half of this show how is um the movie going to take place because i know it, it has to of course it's gonna be before way y'all all of this so i wonder how that's gonna go and everything and then yeah what the hell is gonna happen in the future because this uh, the way it ends it just seems like this is the calm before the storm because i feel like when we get to the second half of the show or really i would say go ahead season two um that's when i think it's gonna get a lot darker i think that's when we're going to see a lot of main characters possibly start dying maybe i don't know i mean yes like we had a character <laughs> God, please don't do that again. Don't give me a character to let me care about them and thinking that they were going to be friends with Itadori, hang out with him and go to school and this, this, that, and there. And then y'all was like, no, psych, we're killing him. <laughs> don't do that again. I swear to God. Like, honestly, this show made me have a little trust issues with, like, any of the characters because I was like, yeah, you're probably going to kill them off in a couple of weeks. You're, you're building them up just to kill them off or something. But wherever any of these characters are, you know, best girl, um, wherever they are, I hope that they're okay, they're well. I bet you, you know, some of you mon manga readers reading, <laughs> watching this video like, <laughs> if only she knew what the fuck was happening in the manga because, I mean, as someone who has, like, gone on TikTok and thank God I have not been spoiled on anything. Same thing with freaking Twitter. And I might have to start like <laughs> unfollowing or blocking people to be like, hey, don't spoil me on shit. Um there's just one chick who had like she put like cries as someone who caught her with the manga and I was like, oh shit. I was like, it must be really bad now. I was like, it must gotten from like oh here's like a happy you know happy group and everything and then here's nothing but depressing sadness despair shut up fitbit and such so I, I like i said i can't imagine what the fuck is happening in the current arc of wherever the heck it is but honestly yeah this show was a wild ride i think honestly i would watch it again in a heartbeat i think probably when the dub is completed i might even show this to my mom because my mom my mom is the same person like me she likes a lot of horror and stuff and so even though like horror among uh animes are like because i mean but my mom likes death notes so fucking much because that was the first initial anime that i showed her besides like saving and pokemon or whatever that i grew up on um my mother is the type of person that is like no anime can be better than death note and i'm like woman there are so many other animes besides death note so i think i might show this to her and i think she honestly would like it i don't think she would fall for gojo unlike me but the same thing with like <laughs> nana or anybody else because my mom isn't really like attracted to anime characters like that because you know that that's just me in the family but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards season one of jujutsu kaisen if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys whenever the heck season two starts and then officially next week when we start well officially because spring anime starts tomorrow for me but whenever the heck all my other shows come out for spring anime but until then i will see you guys all next time bye